Have you ever encountered a dogma of some sort, some sort of belief system that uh, claims to or operates as though it has uh, cornered the market on truth? <laughs> so um, this could be a religion. It could be a philosophy, a way of thinking. It could be an academic theory. It could be like a scientific way of thinking. It's just like the way people have always thought about something. It could be your underlying assumptions. The, the idea is that when we encounter some kind of dogma where there is an assumption that um, we know what the truth is and we're operating as though that truth is infallible, that is exactly the dynamic that we have with the uh, with yesterday's uh, full moon in Gemini as well as today's um, transit of the moon in Gemini opposing Mercury in Sagittarius. I'm Marina Orms here with your Astro Vibe for Tuesday, November 28th, and uh, we're coming out of that full moon. So this the moon is still quite full, right? It's still um, very large, and it, but it's on the other side of that full moon. So it's waning. It's starting to get smaller every night. Um, and uh, we're, we're still really in the impact of that full moon, that illumination of um, what, uh, of, the, of the moon itself and something in our lives that can be illuminated as well. So with that uh, dynamic of the um, of the moon opposing the sun, but also the dynamic of the polarity of Gemini and Sagittarius, we have this energy of Sagittarius being the dogma. It is the way of understanding. It is something that feels true and right and decided and um, complete, right? It's like, it's like the way that we take the information of Gemini, Gemini is the data. And so you take all the data and the little bits of information, all the things that you've gathered or learned or discovered um, through your investigation, and then you make meaning out of it with Sagittarius. And so um, the sun is in Sagittarius, Mars is in Sagittarius, Mars is how we take action, Mercury is in Sagittarius, Mercury is our minds and how we think um, and how we process information. So with those three planets in Sagittarius, we have this um, important uh, energy of the of the truth, right? Of some sort of theory or way of thinking or belief or belief system um, that is uh, seemingly complete, right? We collected the data, we looked for patterns, we found the patterns, we made our conclusion. Here's the here's the meaning, right? Here, now, okay, now we can go on with our lives because we've discovered this new truth. Well, in come Gemini. And that's what the moon in Gemini is, the full moon in Gemini, today's moon, uh, just past full in Gemini is telling us, it's reminding us that no matter how much we have reached a conclusion, found a pattern, discovered meaning, named that truth, there's always room for questioning, for doubt, for new discoveries, new information, new input. And so if you have ever encountered um, some belief system that feels like it's uh, it's got all the answers, um, there's no room for questioning or doubt, um, then that becomes problematic because uh, ultimately all beliefs, all answers, get updated with new questions. That's the nature of life. And that's what the Zodiac reminds us of. It's a truth that the Zodiac reminds us of. So today's Gemini moon following the full moon is opposing Mercury in Sagittarius. So what's happening is that we have that push and pull between the dogma and the 
ways that challenge our thinking to get us thinking in new ways or different ways. And that can happen inside of ourselves too. So the way that you might have, um, you know, have to like, so if there's a dogma, if there's a, a religious belief or some philosophy or some academic theory or some, some you know, accepted truth, um, then the process of challenging that truth through identifying new information doesn't mean you necessarily, it doesn't mean the truth isn't necessarily true. It just means that in order to be more complete, more whole, there, there has to be room, right? There has to be room for us to gather more information, for us to ask questions, for us to be able to cast doubt, you know, to, to even if we're wrong, to question the, the way, the paradigm, right? What is, what is being accepted as true? And um, so that can also happen inside of ourselves. So I'm asking you to remember or think about a time when you've encountered some sort of belief system that has um, not been open, shall we say, to change. Um, and where, what is the role of asking questions in that accepted truth? Um, and then we're going to, we're going to go a little deeper and think about for yourself, what are your own unchallenged beliefs, thoughts, or truths, or ways of thinking that you may need to ask questions about, get more input on, gather more information about because it is going to help you um, ultimately um, step into a more true truth, right? <laughs> it's going to help you evolve, grow, heal, become more of what you're capable of. So think about in a relationship how you have your truth and the other person has their truth and sometimes they don't always sync up <laughs> you might disagree right you might have an argument and but think about how that other person's perspective even though you were so convinced or are so convinced uh, that what you know is true and right maybe what they have to say is going to help you grow and uh, step into a way of being or a way of thinking or understanding things that's even more true or right or effective for you, right? Maybe it's going to help you be more powerful, empowering your truth, um, be more effective in the ways that you talk about it or argue or, you know, honing your argument is a thing, right? So, um, so. The way that we can in our relationships um, bring in that perspective of here's a different way of thinking about it. Here's what I'm curious about. Here's what I have to question. Um, here is my input or perspective on that thing that you are so convinced about. And so, um, so it's, of course, we have to uh, show up as ourselves and um, be that for other people right? Other people who are so convinced that they're right. And we get to show up and, and remind them that, hey, you know, here's how I see it. Here's what, you know, what I've learned or gathered or have to offer about that. But the, the converse is also true, that whatever it, we are convinced of about things that we know or the ways we do things that can maybe benefit from some output outside input, a different perspective, some more data, some uh, one who has a different way of doing things. So that is the energy of today's dynamic with the, the moon in Gemini. And, and also that Gemini moon wants us to feel safe. It wants to feel safe in our information. And it's because the moon is the inner part of us. It's, it's, that's where, why we talk about self-care and the moon is because the moon is, um, what, what, where we feel nurtured, what we need to feel nurtured and caring for ourselves and others. So that, that dynamic between the dogma or the belief or the um, unchallenged, <laughs> unquestioned truth of some sort 
um, is in it's in a dynamic of change, in an opposition, being pulled in two different directions by um, by this energy of what is the truth versus how can that truth be um, updated or evolve or be, become more complete, more truthful, right? That the truth is never done. <laughs> if it's true, it means we're continuing to evolve um, our understanding of it, right? And then that is what life is all about. So, uh, so enjoy this energy of casting doubt, of questioning, and of receiving input, and and of challenging your own ways of being. Right, looking for that internal dogma where you are set in your ways or fixed in uh, the ways that you think about things, and how that might be open to evolving or adapting to new information. All right. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Marina Orms, and you can learn more about me and my package offer for one-on-one -on -one sessions, five sessions working in depth with me over time, which is absolutely the best way to uh, learn about your own chart and how it applies to your life and how these beautiful energies of uh, the planets and the ways that they interact show up for you and um, translate to ways that you can uh, understand yourself more fully and uh, step into what makes you more whole. So astrologyheals.com, a, a package of five sessions. Um, check out that special offer. It's available now through the end of the year and uh, the price will be going up after then. So go check it out. I'm Marina Orms and I'll be here um, as I am every day with more unshakable self-care and how you can connect with your own self-care through astrology. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for being here. I'll see you next time.